What's up guys? Got a Titanfall gameplay commentary for you today. I promise I will be doing more of these. A lot of people have been saying we want more Titanfall videos on my Twitter and stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing more. I know Hybrid Panda was like, why aren't you posting this game more? You're really good at it. And I feel like I'm pretty good at this game. I'm not going gonna, not gonna to bullshit. I think I'm pretty good at it. Uh, and I think I'm fun to watch because if you watch people on the Xbox, like the prominent Twitch streams and YouTubers are all people playing on the Xbox One. And I know this might come off at like very PC Master Race-ish, but goddamn, dude, they fucking blow ass. I have not seen a good Titanfall Xbox One stream when it comes to excitement. It's so fucking boring to watch. I'm not saying I'm the greatest Titanfall player ever, but I think I'm better than the people on the Xbox One. We'll just we'll just say it. At least people streaming. Uh, there are some people on PC that are fucking insane, though. I watched this one guy that was uh, piloting a Strider Titan that was literally just unhittable. That guy was godly. There's a gif on the Titanfall Reddit of this guy just side strafing. Uh, a uh, he was side strafing an ogre titan with a 40 millimeter, and he had a sliver of health left when he started the fight. And he didn't get hit once. And he 100 100 owed this guy. He perfected him. It was it was amazing to watch. So there are definitely people better than me, but uh, I don't know, man. The people. Uh, uh, yeah, I know it comes off cocky, but it's obvious. It's fucking obvious. It's too obvious not to say something. So, uh, anyway, this particular gameplay is not so much about my pilot skills. It's about how powerful the Titans are. Especially if you get that first to fall strider. Look at that. Double double road kill. Uh. But anyway, uh, if you're a good player, if you are a good player and you consistently get your Titan first every game, you get that first to fall bonus, use the strider. The strider Titan is the most powerful titan if there's no other titans on the field. The only real threat in the Strider is other titans. You cannot fight an Atlas, you cannot fight an Ogre. They will just destroy you. But what you can do is run people over like crazy. And I like to save my dash core for if I see a, uh, a, a fresh pack of minions spawn at the top of the field, I save it for that. I don't save it for dogfighting. I know some people like to save that dash core to... to um, side strafe around to other titans and make yourself a, an unhittable target but me i'm not I, I i can't lie i'm not particularly good at side strafing around and killing titans like that like that one guy on reddit is but i am really good at running over minions that's uh that's a skill that i can do so i like to save my my uh my particular dash core for that i like to save it for the the mobility because the thing about killing the bots is yes killing the bots is easy but killing them efficiently you got to kill them fast and efficiently that's what that, that's what the bots are for and the bots are also uh somebody referred to the bots as fool's gold and i think this is a perfect analogy so you run into a pack of bots thinking oh look i'm gonna get all these points and you shoot and you put yourself on the radar and then you die and you give that pilot five attrition points, or four, it's, it's sometimes four or five, I've gotten five for a pilot, I don't know if it's a bug, sometimes it's four, sometimes it's five, I don't know what the deal is, maybe it rounds, but anyway, uh, the thing with the bots are, killing them puts you on the radar, so the suppressor, I don't think the suppressor is good when you're facing other pilots, if you're just focusing on pilots, or you're playing pilot hunter, I don't think the suppressor is worth it, but if you're consistently like running into packs of bots, and just killing them all, and putting yourself on the radar frequently, then the suppressor is really good. I personally don't use it too much, but with the amp or with the CAR, I would give it a chance. If you're not constantly running gun hip firing with the counter, goddamn, that is such a sick setup though. The, if you if you haven't tried running gun with uh, the counterweight in this game yet, oh my god, it it really is something incredible. I don't know if it's as good on the Xbox One, but something, man, that that setup is sick as fuck in this game. Anyway. Back to Suppressor, so the Suppressor does reduce the damage and the range in this game, but the Car SMG is a 4-shot kill, but the thing about it is it's a 4-shot overkill by a considerable amount. The 4-shot kill on the Car SMG is 264 damage total, and that is 64 overkill. Every pilot has 200 health, and if you do 200 damage in 4 shots, then it's a kill. So that 264, even with the Suppressor, I think it gets... I think it goes down to like 2, 230, 225, something like that. And that's still an overkill. So it still retains that nice four shot kill. I would try it out. The counterweight's good. There's no getting around how good the counterweight is. The counterweight is probably still the best attachment with running gun. It's just sick. But if you're killing lots of bots, 
or if your play style is more of a stealthy kind of play style, I would give it a chance. It's it definitely it still puts people down. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.